Hi, it's Gwen Fox, professional artist, workshop leader, and coach to fabulous artists just like you. Now, I have a suspicion that each one of you has had a rejection from an art show. Oh, yes, that feels really good, doesn't it? You know, you get up the courage, you really want to get in, you get up that courage and you send that send that email off with your images, and then you get the word that they didn't get in. But guess what? Your friends did. That's what makes it even worse, right? You feel, you feel really bummed out, and that is no good. That's no good for creativity, that's for sure. So I thought I would make you feel a little bit better because... I was going through some paperwork this week, and I found this note, and I'm going to read it to you. And it was written on March the 24th, 1992. Today I received my sixth rejection in an art show. The last two were statewide shows, you know what? It seems bad to me when I can't even get in a statewide show. One slide I thought for sure would be accepted. Oh, well, I wonder what I'm doing wrong. My associate painters get in all these shows and they win awards. I guess I am just a tad down right now. I am determined to become a quality painter. Dare I say artist? Work more. I need to work more during daringly. I need to be more creative and I never, never, never give up. 1992. I smiled when I read that. I realized that a lot had changed and it was because I was determined. I was bullheaded. I was, I was... <laughs> I was that bitch that never gave up. And I don't want you to give up. I want you to be your best at all times, but I want you to never give up. But here's, I just judged a show in California. And I want to give you a little bit of something that I noticed that would help you when you enter shows. There are really three things that that a judge really looks at. They look at the design. The design is, I've got a dog here, sorry. Um, the design is very, very important. Make sure it's a good, solid design. And you're thinking, well, I'm not sure about my designs. You know what? Trust your gut. Yes, you are sure. You're just, yes, deep inside you're sure, but you're not sure on top. So trust your gut on that. Your colors shouldn't be garish. They should blend. They should have harmony. But the main thing, here is the clincher. Make sure you have contrast. Contrast stands out. And, and it stands apart from everything else. And the judge will say, Ooh, okay, I'm going to move that over to the, let's, let's think about that pile. That's where you want to be. So make sure your contrast is, is your center of interest. If you have decided not to do a center of interest, then I don't know where you put your contrast, but I put my contrast in my center of interest where I want the eye to go. I want the judge to go there. I want that judge to say, oh my gosh, that's really interesting. That's what you want. So... I I know that rejection hurts. It hurt me. My gosh, I was rejected, I don't know how many times, I think like 38 or 40 times. I think Jack Canfield for Chicken Soup for the Soul was rejected, I think 125 times. I may be wrong on that number, but it's, it's up there in over 100. 
So when you get rejected, you merely say, next, next, keep going. Do not give up. You will look back on this day, just like I did with this letter and or this note to myself. And I look and I say, things have changed and they will for you. So know that I love you. I support you. I'm there for you anytime. So have a great week and I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Thank you.